It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered to meet her. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus, and fortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you've been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. All of us said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... 
like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified and soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. So our plan to capture Festus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run. But I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system, without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Faro Agricultural Research Facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. 
Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreaths before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. The Zenith. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zoe. I believe we may have a workaround. Yeah, I'm helping her out with that. There's something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Pharaoh Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines then. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy.